All right, guys, so the leaks and updates are officially in. Everything new coming out to Dragon Ball Legends tonight for the weekly reset update. Now, quickly, before we get started, shout outs Pro Digital, Hydros, as well as Gruz Dog. And if you guys do want to keep getting updated here 24 7, everything Dragon Ball Legends, just simply like and subscribe. And you guys already know I got you guys covered. Also, if my dog barks in the background, he's okay. He's just not doing too well right now, as you guys already know. Uh, so he's in a bit of medication. So, uh, yeah. So let's not waste any time, guys. The first thing I want to mention is that we are going to get a brand new Zenkai a Rush Battle. Now, check this out. I'm actually quite excited to see these Zenkais just because the equipments are not tied to the shop, right? I've been saving my crystals, so I'm well over 20,000 crystals right now. So whenever I see an event like this where I don't need to get forced to be under 20,000 crystals to collect, I'm totally okay. Like, this is fine. I love these events now that I'm over, you know, 20,000 cap. So, um, which by the way, they definitely got to increase that cap. Uh, but yeah, so his main ability is extremely broken. We do have his full abilities here in just one bit, guys. We are going to get two brand new equipments in the bottom, such as the Lord Slug Unique Equipment. I used to use this character non-stop, man. Like, his main ability is so busted because his main ability takes two of your enemies dragon balls and of course adds it to your own that in itself is a really busted main ability which talking about busted main abilities this guy has lock in <laughs> you know lock in with your enemies for three time accounts which is not too much but it's a very broken ability also um and here to the bottom left hand side we are going to get a brand new uh i don't know what this is maybe a unique equipment we'll see um maybe for the brand new special co-op which is Goku throwing the spirit bomb. So, uh, yeah. Also, guys, we are going to be getting this, which, you know, a lot of people are saying since we're getting this next week, we're going to be getting an ultra. Of course, nothing is confirmed. Uh, we could still get nothing next week. Who knows, right? It could be another Mega Rising Banner. Who knows? Um, I would hope not because this campaign needs something strong to finish it off, but um, it is what it is. So this is super expensive. As you guys already know, Ultra Z Power. You guys can collect this off the shop with real money. So uh, if you guys have it, save it. Um, I, I, to be honest, I would just save this for the Legends Festival, man. Because the Legends Festival is like two weeks away, right? So we're expected a very busted Ultra character. Um, so yeah, I mean, for the Legends Festival, I mean, saving this for two months is not that bad. It's a thousand uh, Ultra Z power, which is pretty good. It gives you, you know, a star, which is solid, right? Um, also, I mentioned this was going to come out, which is the Hyper Dimensional Co-op Special. Now, the reason why this is special is is because, um, you know, it only lasts for seven days and we can collect extra co-op medals via, depending on if you guys have the correct battle bonus units, we can collect extra co-op medals. And which pretty much this just signals that next week, right? We are going to be getting our free-to-play character that ties into the co-op as well. Um, as you guys already know, every beginning of the month, the first weekly reset of the month, we typically always get a uh, free-to-play character. Quite curious to see what that character will be because um, it's probably going to be tying into the campaign for October, which I know a lot of people are predicting Daima since we're under a login bonus right now and stuff like that. But um, if they do bring out something Daima, guys, I just want to mention something real quick. I don't think it's going to be a full blown like it could be right, like a whole bunch of characters, new banners that soon, right? Like a week or two after this release, right? I would love that, but what they did with Superhero is that they took their time and they brought out a, f a few free-to-play characters in Gamma 1 and 2. So they took their time with that. And then, of course, later on, we end up getting Beast Gohan. So we could be seeing the same game plan here, but who knows? We'll see. Hopefully, we do get something Daima because I think that would be hype because it's a new series. So, uh, yeah. So talking about this Bardock here, right? We have his full abilities, which oh, let me just cover a few extra things here. Uh, we're also going to get, of course, the card sleeves for the Bardock. So, yeah. So speaking of this Bardock, guys, um, he is quite interesting, right? Because his main ability locks you in. So you don't see that that often. And it's only for three timer counts, which is good because anything above that, like the old characters at 10 timer counts, would be an absolute nightmare, right? For 10 timer counts, it's like you, you, you are guaranteed to kill the other character, right? If you just switch to color disadvantage or color advantage on them. So um, yeah, three timer counts, it's safe. You could do your own thing. Pop an ulti, pop a super. Uh, stuff like that, right? Um, there's also some, uh, there's also this ability I want to read here. I saw somebody posting it online, but um, I just got to kind of refine it. It's fine. I haven't read this myself. The letters are too small here. So um, let's just browse this really quick together. It says here, the falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield if there is a defeated battle member. So this ability previously existed, but now they just buffed it to, of course, to match his Zenkai, right? Because he came out back in 2019, guys. 
As a matter of fact, he came out the Tapion we got right now, the Zenkai Tapion, the red one. So coincidentally, we got the same character in the same banner, right? He came out back in December 2019. Think about that, guys. We're about to get in 2025. Damn, that's it is a long time, man. But yeah, I mean, uh, so after if there's a defeated battle member, uh, he would get 60% to strike damage inflicted, cannot be canceled. Also affects um, affects reset after character switches, of course. Plus 10% to special move arts cannot be canceled, and of course it resets. And also applies to falling effects or the buff effects. Nullifies enemies' special cover change, which is good for 10 timer counts. Activates twice, um, but you need a bit dead battle member, so which sucks. Um, also applies buff effect. Nullifies enemies. Destroy card effects for 10 timer counts, which is nothing too crazy. So honestly, like I could read this. I could read this to you guys, but you guys can read it for yourselves. It's a lot, but um, I mean, his main, his main ability is pretty good, but he's just going to be a Zankai buff, you know, bench for, of course, we ended up getting the uh, the brand new Goku, the LF movies Goku, and then, of course, we have the fusion, um, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, which I think he buffs Sagas, right? He should buff Sagas. Let's double check. His main ability is only just Saiyans, which is weird because he, he's a defensive type of character. Yeah, it's Sagas. It's Sagas and Yellow. And I think they mentioned that before anyways. But yeah, so pretty much the Yellow uh, Anniversary Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, right? So guys, quick, quickly, just to end off this video, I want to I wanna touch on if we do get another Ultra Sagas from the movie's character, it's safe to say it would have to be blue, right? Because if we just theoretically look at all the colors, it would have to be blue, right? Red, we just got the LF Broly. Okay, so let's discount him. Um, we also got the Golden Frieza for Ultra. We also got this, um, you know, Ultra Broly's Platinum Equipment. Ultra, I mean, not Ultra Garlic Jr., LF Garlic Jr. So red and purple's off the table. Yellow, we just got the brand new, um, the brand new LF Movies Goku. Okay, so yellow's off the table. That will leave us with what, green or blue? So green, we did get this uh, Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Unique Equipment. We also got uh, Turles' Army, right? Uh, the uh, Turles Capsule Corp, or uh, not Capsule Corp, the i forgot the name of it the crusher corp yeah um so the the color missing in that banner is only blue as well so i would have to predict theoretically speaking just looking at, at from a logical standpoint it would have to be blue because blue we do have super Geneva, but he's not that guy anymore i mean he's still good you can still go to work with him but power creep is very real uh, same thing with this beast gohan he's solid you could go to work with him but you know same thing and uh, this Broly here, he has his unique equipment, but, you know, let's just face it, guys. I mean, we could definitely use a brand new blue character here, right? Whether it's a blue Turles, whether it's a blue Family Kamehameha character, who knows, right? I just know that if it's an Ultra character, it will be good. But I will be saving these if I do decide to get them for the Legends Festival, which I think it's too pricey, so I might skip out on this, but yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm going to go check up on my dog. And um, if you guys did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys tomorrow morning for the next one. Have a good one. Peace.